So, Stefan Stearns, Jen Soto, creepy ass people. We've established this at this point, listening to all of the friends of Stefan Stearns, but we have the best for last. We have a friend, and he pretty much goes on and tells us, he tells us a story about Stefan Stearns sharing a living space with someone and recording their girlfriend while they get out the bathroom. Does that ring a bell to maybe his childhood? Maybe we covered something like that a few days ago. It, it might it might start to ring bells for you. The best part is the dumbass gets caught because he saves it on a shared server. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the final friend of Stefan Stearns who wanted to give his opinion. Definitely take it with a grain of salt because, as you will soon find out, he's kind of a tool. Let's Let's check this out. Yeah, I was that kid's best friend for like a decade. Okay, he said that kid. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to need to get some water. This is how you know this guy is a gamer. I was that kid's friend for like a decade. You're calling a kid, a 40-year-old man a kid? That's the most common. Listen, if you're playing a video game and they call and they say this kid sucks and that you're clearly your balls have dropped and you're a 40 year old man and they know you're a 40 year old man. And it's a 17 year old on the other end of the line. They're like, yeah, this kid is garbage, but they know you're an adult that, that gets underneath that in the gamer community gets under people's skin. So the second he, <clears throat> the second he goes and says that that kid, pure gamer for sure. hundred percent a gamer. I was that kid's best friend for like a decade. Yeah, so we had a falling out like 12 years ago, but he still floats in the same circles because he, he moved up and down the state, apparently, like doing real estate with his mom and dad. But he started working for Disney, and I know he's still working there in like September, but I don't think he's working there anymore because Disney made a statement or something about it. He was actually in the T-Rex area at, at Epcot, I think. I think that's where he worked. I don't know if like he's not working. I mean, he could have quit after September, but I know in September he's still working there. Because he had pictures on his Instagram. Because people always send me crap about him because we were best friends for so long. And then we had a falling out because he drew a gun on me over a disagreement. So I just cut ties with him completely. But some of the stuff that kid did growing up was so crazy. So a year after we stopped being friends, one of our mutual friends was going through hard times and needed a cheap place to live. So he moved in with him. And this kid's like an IT wizard. So essentially what happened is a year after that they had a falling out and i convinced my buddy to tell me what happened and apparently what happened was he had been cleaning up the network and found a shared folder between their computers mm -hmm. where stefan had been secretly hiding a camera in his room and recording his girlfriend coming in and out of the shower what the fuck? and and from what i understand there was why do you have a shared folder on the network and why would you store it there he really doesn't. He's really bad at clean, cleaning his tracks, bro. Holy shit! Like he's just the. Oh my god. He's. You could tell he's messy in real life too. How does that even? Oh, I guess because the camera feed will just directly send it to wherever it defaults to, and it happens to be a shared folder between the two of them. Makes me think that he might have been snooping. But still, he found something. Stuff on there as well. And like I said, my buddy was going through a really hard time. At, like, literally broke. And uh, from what I understand, his mom paid, Stefan's mom paid off my buddy to not talk about it. And so he was cleaning up the network and found images that, this Stefan guy's a, kind of a moron, isn't he? I mean, I mean, he does. It, it, it's like, something like all of us are friends. We so like a lot of us old friends from high school. They've all been blowing me up for like the last two days about all this, and that's kind of the agreement we've all come to too. <laughs> We're like, wow, he was actually really, really dumb. Like all of this is so stupid. Like it's 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 kind of crazy because he didn't. I mean, he was kind of a smart kid, but he he had social issues a little bit but i mean he he partied I, I was like i threw parties all the time and he always came out and partied i mean he was always me and him were basically attached at the hip we lived together we lived in the same room for like five years damn that's why all this is so crazy to see all this going down and just like the amount of people that are flooding me constantly about it but 
his mom was i mean his dad is pretty normal it always seemed like his dad didn't like the rest of the family and his brother seemed to dis- it always seemed like his dad did. this is the this is the mutual understanding that everybody says about his dad they're like yep Stefan's dad was the only normal motherfucker who just created some monstrous monstrosities from himself just like delete the family line pack it up try somewhere else or better yet just don't try anymore just just go somewhere else and be peaceful man because that shit is crazy everybody says the dad is the only one that seems normal like damn what 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 did he create or we should say what did the mother create right and you're half and half i don't know (laughs) he definitely is crazy like his mama though (laughs) but his mom was i mean his dad is pretty normal it always seemed like his dad didn't like the rest of the family and his brother seemed to distance himself from the i mean i knew this kid we were attached at the hip for better part of a decade and I hey lauren thank you so much for two members shout you out hey guys babysitting today so i can't hang around just want to drop in and sit and share some love with my favorite youtube community hearts back to you man throw some hearts out for lauren i appreciate you lauren thank you for stopping through shit the baby could watch some ag nah 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 we curse too much the baby's gonna the the parents are gonna come home and the baby's gonna be randomly saying fuck and they're going to be like, what did you do? I never once saw his brother. I think his brother was military or something like that. Well, what can Lived you tell us about, Car- like, so how, long Carolina. Did, how long did you know this guy for? Uh, I moved I moved here from Japan when I was, like, 17. So probably until I was 27. We be- And we lived together for probably six, seven of those years. Wow. So, like, what can you tell, like, you know, remembering back, what what do you know about him? I mean, just how was he like when you go well, to bars and the girls and whatever, you know? Yeah, all that was like, I mean, there's one time recently, and that's because she actually messaged me today. She's married with kids now and everything like that, but there was one girl who messaged me, and we didn't let him bring her to parties. I mean, he had to be 20, probably 20 at the time, and he was dating a girl who was 17. And we were like, no, no, nah. no, sorry, she's not allowed. So nah. none of us really interacted with her, so I don't really know too much about that. But we do know he was dating a young girl. And what did she look and like? We, none of us. Was she really? She was young? Asian. Oh, she was Asian and really small then. Yeah, she was tiny and oh, Asian. God. Yeah, okay. she was literally tiny and Asian. I mean, yeah, he likes some. He likes the small ones, huh? She, I, I bet you, she did it for him because she looks young enough. She's just like she's basically an adult, but hey. At least we're breaking some rules, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, what? creepy as fuck, bro. So 17, 18, 19, 20. Fuck, that's a that's a long three years right there, man. That's a long three years. Would you let your thirteen year old date a sixteen year old? Fuck no. None of us really interacted with her, so I don't really know too much about that. But we do know he was dating a young girl. And what did she look like? <laughs> none of us. Was she really? She was young? Asian. Oh, she was Asian and really small then? Yeah, she was tiny and Asian, yeah. Okay. She was literally tiny and Asian. I mean, four foot, eleven maybe. Hmm. Damn. Well, small. my wife's only, she's, she's, she's a uh, really uh, small, she's only like four foot yeah. five or And this seven girl was too, she was super tiny. And, uh, I mean, so we thought that was a little weird, but this girl had messaged me earlier today, and she made a comment about that same thing that I'm saying now. And we were all told she was 17. She told me today on Instagram that she was 14 at the time. So oh, that wow. dramatically changes all of that. Oh, wow. That, so the same girl that he told you was 17 was only 14? Oh. Yeah. Because wow. she mentioned that today in the Instagram. Oh. Wow, that's insane. So what was this part about you, a gun up above? I think I missed that. I was trying to... Oh, yeah. Things. So we were living together. Um, I don't know. Probably a couple years into, I mean, this was at the end of our relationship. So we had a disagreement because there was a lot of issues wrong with the house. We were renting through his dad, and uh, I didn't want to pay rent because, like, a whole bunch of these issues, AC, garage, all these things hadn't been fixed, and my car was pinned in the garage. And this went on for, like, months. So finally I refused to pay rent. I was like, look, you got to fix these issues. I'm like, this can't go on any longer. I'm not paying rent until you fix these issues. 
and uh his son flipped out on me because I guess his dad was giving him a hard time trying to get Stefan to give me to give the money to pay the rent and I was just like no not until you fix these problems and Stefan flipped out the house threw a temper tantrum and I, I mean a legit like three-year-old temper tantrum laying on the ground oh, a geez. grown man <laughs> pounding and kicking his feet into the ground <laughs> and screaming and yelling and he does all this proceeds to run into the room grab his gun and draw a gun on me Could have killed wow. we get into a scuffle after that i leave i never come back my dad gives me money because i'm broke you know i'm broke 20 year old at the time like bouncing between jobs and he gives me the money to break the lease because i told him what happened He's like, you need to get out of there. So he gives me the yeah, money, leave, breaks so the lease with everything, and I plan. left. So that was the last I talked to the kid personally. Wow. But then a year after that, our mutual buddy moved in, and that's when all the camera stuff and all that went down. Should have told your mutual buddy that he drew a gun on you. That would be some nice background info to know before I go and move in with him. Just saying. That's not even on no hater shit. I'll just let him know, like, hey, just, just so you know, so I don't feel bad that I didn't let you know. This is what happened between me and him, and that's why I left, like, Real quick, I would have told him that shit, but yeah, he yeah, fuck, he was just that kid, the weirdo, the the one. He was just that kid, one of them. <laughs> I feel. But it. like, uh, you moved back in with him somehow again after that, or even you know? no, 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 no. I, after the gut thing, I never talked to the kid again. Okay. I never talked we to the kid. We just float in the same circle. So, like, every time he hangs out with someone I know or messages someone I know, I get all these messages on Facebook or Instagram from, you know, whoever it is. And so, how long ago was this server moment where he, he was at work? and? Uh, oh, this wasn't at work. This was at the house. My oh, buddy house. was just, like, going oh. through. He, so, he's, like, he loves, he's, he's a rare breed. He loves IT networking. Like, he's not good at IT networking. He loves IT networking. Like, he loves going through networks and cleaning things and making things move faster and 3D printing. You know, he's just one of those guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he was still going through school and everything, so he's playing around on the network at the house and going through it. And that's where he found a shared folder between Stefan's computer and his computer on the network. And he thought that was just weird that there was even a folder there. So that's when he went into it, and that's where he saw a whole bunch of young kid stuff and uh, Why did he put it in videos a and pictures place? of his girlfriend. I mean, that's sort of weird. Because like Stefan's an idiot. I mean, a shared like, I, I, network. That's... Yeah, it, it was literally like connected. It was in the middle of the network, you know, like a portioned off section that Lance had for like <laughs> when we want to bounce files back and to and fro mm -hmm. in the house. And it was just like that, something quick and easy. We were all wired together because we're all gamers. So. And so he had like – CSAM material and his girlfriend on there. Or his child pornography yeah, 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 yeah. and his girlfriend. Oh. And and my buddy, the IT guy's girlfriend. Damn. From a hidden camera in their bedroom. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if that's yeah, true. Because he also lived in the house. I don't know. I wonder if that's true because this guy, that kid, and this kid, and all that, all the kids all over the place, and that kid, I don't know about his credibility to 100%. I do kind of believe him, but his credibility kind of dwindles with me a little bit. Because, you know, I was just trying to help the kid. Like, I don't know, it just he's, he sounds like a corny dude who would probably push a story. I said that earlier, but even when I lived there, like, we lived together. Because his dad owned the place, so it was, like, super cheap rent, and Windermere's an expensive town. Well, do you have any other, like, times when you were hanging out with him that you were just sort of like, God, that's weird, or something like that? Uh, you know, know he, was, it. he was very socially awkward other than that. I mean, there I know there was a story that I was told. This guy's weird, too. When he first moved here by his own mom. And that was uh, him stabbing a dude when he was, like, 14 years old. So I, I doubt anyone even knows. This happened in California before his family even moved over here. Um, but he No, stabbed. I said at the beginning of this interview, he's a gamer. This is something gamers use to demean you. Yeah, exactly, to make themselves feel superior. There's a story that I was told when he first moved here by his own mom, and that was uh, him stabbing a dude when he was, like, 14 years old. So I'm, I doubt anyone even knows. This happened in California before his family even moved over here. Um, but he stabbed, I guess, from what I understood, he was walking down the road. He was, like, 14 years old in California, and some guy had catcalled his girl, and he flicked the guy off. The guy was, like, a drunk 40-year-old man who proceeded to run across the road and beat the living tar out of him. Well, apparently, Stefan, at 14 years old, was one of those kids who carries knives on him, and he stabbed him, and 
missed his heart by like barely a millimeter. Wow. Um, so I almost cut him. That was when he was 14, and I know he had a whole bunch of therapy afterwards because apparently the beating kind of messed with his brain or something where he could like fly off the handle really easily. Like he would just get super angry really quick. And I only saw a couple flashes of that, that during our relationship together. But I mean, that, that was like, but I will say of that entire family, dad seemed normal. Mom, on the other hand, is a whole different beast altogether. Like, she raises championship poodles. She's the meanest, rudest, loudest, most racist person I've ever met. And openly racist. I mean, Damn. she doesn't hide it. Just obnoxious person I've ever met in my life. Like, my sister used to run a Publix down here, and she was hated by the entire staff. I'm like, wow. how do you get hated by a bagger? Like, that's hard to do. Yeah. Like, but everyone knew this lady when she walked through the door. She was just... She said she was an ex-Air Force drill sergeant, uh, you know, a, a special forces drill sergeant, no less. I don't know. That could be true. could be false. Who knows? She was a whole different... Damn. To be hated by everybody in unison, you have to feel that. When you walk through the door, I think that's what she liked. If you can't get them to like, like you and you want to be, you know, relevant, get them to hate you, I guess. I don't know, but I know she probably enjoyed that walk through the door and everybody's looking at me. No, everybody hates that you're here. No, but he's saying back. You, you're saying baggers are people too, but I get what he's saying. How do you make the bagger hate you? All the bagger does is bag groceries, which means, well, I understand what he's saying. It's like, we don't even communicate with you long enough. I'm here in front of you bagging your shit for like 30 seconds. How does the bagger even hate you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even interact with people that long. So you you have enough time to tell me some crazy shit to make me not like you. And I'm just over here throwing your shit in the bag. That means you're telling me I'm doing my job like shit. Something maybe a little, you know, a little racist maybe, you know? Shit. I get what he means because it's like, what do you say to the bagger? Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. That's it. That's all you say to the bag person. Beast and like he was attached to her by the cord. Like it was really weird. Their relationship was weird. Dad seemed to hate the rest of the family. Dad. Yeah. Dad was like never around really. Dad would pop in like on weekends here and there and he slept in a separate bedroom and then he would go back to doing real estate stuff and disappear for weeks on end down south. I mean oh, that he, was like he was definitely having an affair. Hmm. Probably wanted to get away from his kid. It's, I know. I my that's that's my pops was definitely pops had a second family and nobody knows about it. He probably still has the second family up to this day. <laughs> that <laughs> slept in a separate room, gone for weeks on end. Shows up on the weekend. Oh yeah, he had a second family. He said this one's not working out. This one's not working out. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to spawn up somewhere else. We're gonna have to restart this one. We <laughs> That's insane. Let's continue. Impression I always had of him was uh, oh, he doesn't like the wife and he doesn't like the kid. He got dealt a bad hand, it sounds like. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it seems like. And the other the other son <laughs> Fuck. I want to keep calling him Brett for some reason, but I can't remember his name because he never came around. But he, I think he was military and lived in North Carolina, from what I understand. And I think when he had kids, he made an attempt, like sent them pictures of the family on Christmas kind of thing. And that was like the first thing he had done in like 15 years. So I don't know what happened in that family with that side, but I mean... What makes us disappear from his family for 15 years by choice? Yeah. So it sounds kind of like, I mean, this, this this search, this arrest warrant, you know, he has the thing about the, you know, he has all those photographs on his phone. So it sort of sounds oh, yeah. kind of similar. The interview but then, where he's cracking his knuckles, he uh -huh. used to do that. Like, so, I mean, we, oh. were, we were like popular party kids back in high school. You know, at least me and my circle of friends was, and he was a part of that because he was like my friend. And so we got into a lot of fights with other kids and stuff like that. And that was just something he always did when he, like, he had this weird thing about, like, portraying being the most alpha guy in the room. A lot, a lot what, what do they say, um, all bark, no bite? 
that was kind of him. And he used to do that all the time. He used to drive us nuts because it pissed everyone off where he would sit there and just start cracking his knuckles nonstop. <laughs> and it would be so <laughs> aggravating. Does that annoy you guys? Is that annoying? That was, one of some, that was one of the things we were talking about on Instagram today because we, we had a pretty tight circle of friends. And we've all gone our separate ways, had kids and done all that stuff. And uh, we we have an Instagram chat with a lot of us in it. And, you know, obviously he's never been in it, but a oh, lot wow. of us other ones are in it. And we were just all talking today about a whole bunch of stuff we remember of him back when we were younger and being like, damn, how do we not notice? Like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, and he'll, what That's about crazy. the uh, part about him? You pop everything at Jim. The factory Nick reset said his no. phone. Like we were reading that earlier. It's like, what a dummy. Okay, the kid's not that dumb. I can tell. I can tell you that. That's a one hundred percent chance. That, that is a zero possibility chance with the kid. The kid is really smart when it comes to computers. Like I said, at least when it comes to certain things, he's really smart. We're gamers, like, and we grew up gaming before. Like, you know, the internet is the way it is. So we used to go in and ch go into the codes and change all of our settings minute, and do though. all that kind of like did we you, were really big did you so, play doom though hey we i played the original doom with the uh, i played doom the on phone. a floppy disk remember we had you play the phone you had to put the phone and do the uh 9600 bot and then got the <laughs> 1440 and it was like whoa yeah this is incredible that's it yeah that's crazy yeah but, but yeah but so yeah, obviously so, he I mean, factory reset for that to happen he did it yeah. yeah, there was no way. That's a physical impossibility. Like, the second I, I mean, I, so we had, like, a thing in the chat where I saw the video where he was sitting behind the mom in the interview. And when I saw, and I saw that live, oh, at least when it was posted mm -hmm. by the news channel. And when I saw that, I literally said, oh, he did it. I was like, I can look that kid in the face. So, like, he has tells. He's, he's just a bad liar. Always has been, always will be. Everyone knows he's, a, and everyone says he's always been, like, a little he was kind of creepy like all his ex-girlfriends have messaged with me the last day or two and that's like a common reoccurring word used to describe him as creepy so it's just like you know i don't necessarily know exactly the details of what they saw or what they what kind of things he's i don't who knows did you see the that interview with um the mother and he's in the background there and then he sort of gets up and walks away at one point yeah so i don't think it's on camera but um how that started was kind of wild too. The way he grabs the chair and just walks up and slams it down on the floor and it just kind of plops mm -hmm. his feet down one at a time, stomping them into the ground. I was like, that's weird. Yeah, the whole thing. Like, must be weird yeah, just for like, you in and general, like a, right? Like, it's weird. Right? Uh, it's definitely weird for all of us. Yeah. Like, all of us. Because, I mean, like I said, we were party kids. So we hung out with a lot of people. So there's a lot of people that are just. Girls from all up and down the state have been messaging me, being like, I'm in tears, this is crazy, I'm throwing up, and I'm just like, that's, you know, I don't even know really what to say about that. Mm, that's pretty fucked. <laughs> and he got caught through f leaving his shit on his Google Drive. I, I thought they are gamers. I thought he was supposed to be, like, some whiz kid at, f like, twice he got caught by leaving files in the public. Idiot. Sensitive files. Why would you leave anything that sensitive on a cloud? What is wrong with you? Like, what if... Like, it just doesn't make sense. G on Google, the biggest platform on the planet, you're just going to leave some files up there. Okay. Whatever you say, bro. He's a gamer, though. He understands the intricate workings of keeping files safe and off the grid, right? My ass. I'm just kind of like, that's nuts. Yeah. I come from a military family, so I've been around some crazy, right. you know, I've been around death and things that happen plenty of times. I don't in my think life, they're really but... throwing up. They just wanted to make you impressed that they were yeah, exactly. so emotional. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And, it's, and I'm just like, that's a lot. Of, I mean, I haven't talked to these people in like 15 years. <laughs> Have these people are messaging me. <laughs> it's like a reunion, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So it was, it's kind of crazy all of us talking about it and just like the things we remember and kind of being like, you know, maybe we should have thought a little harder about that. Maybe we should have followed up with our buddy when, you know, when he told when he told me what happened. Maybe I should have followed up because I didn't talk to my buddy for years afterwards either. You know, it's, I was like, take the money and report them. I was like, what are they going to do? But I'm going to assume they didn't report them, you know, obviously. So I'm gonna, but I know his mom paid him off because my buddy was hurting and my buddy got an apartment right after. So, I mean. So you oh, got, so you're assuming. So you can't take, and his, and his mom paid him off to, to stay quiet. 
he's assuming. He doesn't know this shit for real. So you know, this whole story he's telling us, you got to take with a little grain of salt. Because I do feel like his friend is one of those guys who will just say something for a good story. So, you know, it's probably like 70% true. He probably got paid off, which, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. We're assuming here. He doesn't even know for sure. We'll go you, from having no money to having You know that money. he worked at um, Disneyland, so how long was he there? Do you think he was doing anything there with Cameron? Uh, if, he was at, if he was at Disney, it was only for a year as of, like, September 26 or something like that. But he obviously it worked there for the kids, right, because there were kids there. That, now, that is I would assume. Out. I would assume because, yeah. like, I was – so when people told me that he had got a job at Disney, um, I thought that was really weird. <laughs> To be honest with you, I just thought that was weird in general because, like, his dad does real estate as, and he's always – he's worked for his dad forever. Like, that's just what he does because he can't do anything else because yeah. he's terrible. Kind of a waste man. <laughs> he's, he, you know, he wakes up when he feels like it does whatever work he wants to do. He's just one of those lazy kind of people when it comes to that. Just does whatever he wants. You're talking about step by life. You're talking about him. And daddy and mom, he always bailed him out of every issue. It just makes you think, like, were they really kind of – pushing slash grooming slash forcing her to take part in these sexual acts like this is his friend putting this theory out there his friend putting that theory out there i always thought it was stefan by himself by himself you know mom is acting oblivious to it maybe she knows about it but she doesn't know for sure he's doing all these crazy things to her by himself but imagine it was two of them shit ever had so uh, i mean they moved to the other side of the state to get away from his charges that he had when he was a kid from stabbing that guy so they moved literally all the way across the state so no one would know him in that town anymore do you think that's a true story that uh you're well did you t talk to your friend? i don't know that was his mom that told me that no so, i'm talking I mean, about like, the, the other story a long time ago i'm talking so. about the other one the one do you think it's a true story that um the mom paid off your roommate uh, to not show that share I do. Stuff. Yeah. So yeah. That, that kid, I actually trust a lot. <laughs> yeah. Me and that kid have been through thick and thin. I mean, like he's, he's oh, like when, when someone used to go down with the cops and rat one or the other person out and that kid just won't rat someone out. He's that kid. Why well, what's weird about it is the mom, that means she was aware that her son is, has a, you know, propensity Oh, the mom's definitely aware because yeah. I called her son all sorts of those names and called her out on all of it to her face. So I definitely know she knows for sure. Oh, yeah? When when, when made you call him that to their face? Like, when was that? Uh, with all the with all the Lance stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I guess the IT guy. Yeah. Oh, after that. But with all his stuff. And how long? How many years ago was what that? that? That was like 12 years ago, probably. 10, yeah. 12 hey, years ago, friends with like him? That. Yeah, that's quite a... That's I mean, I don't, bad. you know, I don't have it marked in the calendar, but it's like 10, 12 years ago. <laughs> you didn't write it down? Ago, Give but... me the exact date. I need the, the time and the... Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, I'm literally judging because I'm like, how long have I been dating this girl? Seven years? Okay, yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it must be like 10 to 12. Can you think of anything else? Just offhand? Anything that people have been saying in the your Instagram? What's up, Willow? Remember them talking about or... Uh, not really other than like he always went for the youngest girl at the party i mean which is kind of crazy i you know i can't really confirm that honestly because i was young and i wasn't really paying attention to those things so i don't even know but I other people know this. i thing. believe that yeah other people say that. i mean that's a running theme in the chat that we have so hmm. but other than that i mean every, all of us ended up normal we're just kind of like but he was the one kid so all of us a few of us had different falling outs uh, different periods in time a lot of us stopped hanging out with each other i went my own way with esports and other things like that and then they went their ways with kids and wives and all sorts of stuff like that and uh stefan was the only one who was never in any of our chats any of our facebook conversations like we had a big group of friends and we're all we all still talk almost on a daily basis at least with a message or two you know nothing big or anything but we just chat back and forth on facebook and stuff and he's the one guy who's never been in any of those with anyone because hmm. it's like when i stopped being friends with him everyone stopped being friends with him and not because they're it's it's almost like the only reason he was ever around was because me and him were so close that he was always with me 
So other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's a lot. The kid was kind of a whack job growing up. Did you ever go on, like, just you and him go do stuff together? Oh, yeah. We, we did stuff all the I mean, we would shoot. I got pictures on my Facebook of me and him shooting bows and arrows and everything. Uh, we partied all the time, and we, we smoked a lot of weed. Like, we did all sorts of stuff. We went hiking. Like, we were basically like brothers. We lived together. I mean, we drove the same car. We lived together. We had We worked both under his dad for like a year or two together like we did all sorts of stuff together i mean i helped them raise their new their newest line of poodles and all that damn i I lived with them in one two three four four different homes over the years did you ever so but after the time where he pulled out the gun you never lived with him again after that or no i never even talked to him after that I deleted him from everything I owned at that point in time and never talked to that kid again. Hmm. I was at the point in my life where I was kind of like... You're like, oh, this guy likes himself. From the time he said they went to their wives and kids and I went the route of esports, he had to sprinkle that in. Like, yeah, I'm an esports player. Like, I'm, I'm big time, you know. I'm, you know, I, I be doing my thing. That's, that's the vibe I got off of that immediately. At that point, I was already done with the partying. And so, I mean, I was like 24, 25 years old. I was kind of already done with the partying scene. Wasn't going downtown anymore. Wasn't getting into trouble anymore. I, I was kind of a troublemaker growing up. So I was kind of done getting in trouble and changed my life around. I was working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. And uh, so when the gun was drawn on me, I've had guns drawn on me before. And uh, that was kind of the time where I was like, you know what? I, I feel like this is always my fault for being in the wrong situation. And that's why I moved out. I was like, yeah, I just don't need to be around this. Probably and for the last smart. 12 years or so, it's uh, been pretty accurate. No guns. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a smart <laughs> like, move. Probably a smart move. It's man. just like, you know, and it's, it's one of those moments where I could definitely tell you it's been long enough now that I can be like, I should have listened to my mom. She didn't, she didn't like him. She never liked him. <laughs> like, yeah, mom. I should just have listen to my thing. mom. <laughs> they have that. They have that instinct somehow. Yeah, it's one of those weird moments where I've heard that line so many times in my life. Although it, so, it, although it sounds like his life. mom did, wouldn't have had that instinct. No, his mom was a. Uh, she was <laughs> like, I. It's so hard to describe her because of how vile of a woman that lady is. All of them just seem a little weird, and that's what we all say. Like, oh, he's just a little weird, you know. Oh, he he has his little tics. He's a little weird, man. You better be careful. Don't trust your kids with nobody. That's all you gotta say. Don't trust your damn kids with any with nobody. It don't matter. It's on maybe family, you know. But you leave them with these boyfriends and these even the girlfriends. You think the girlfriends aren't weirdos either? Either. Don't leave them around the boyfriends and girlfriends because you're gonna end up with a fucked up kid. It's I've, hmm. and this is coming from I have a, a person in my family who's extremely racist that I dislike very much. So, are you sure? And even that lady is nowhere near the levels of depravity his mom is. Like she's wow. just a cruel, evil, mean person. And I've just never seen someone who's inherently like that. Like that's crazy to me. I've seen I've seen people who have beliefs. And do bad things because of those beliefs. But I've never seen someone who's just like, oh, you're literally just evil. You're just a bad person. And that, that's like, that's her. It's just weird. She's mean to be mean. Hmm. Well, that'll about do it, everybody. Thank you all very much for watching. He says she's just mean to be mean. That's fucked.